What's up guys? I'm freaking out. I've got so many new things going on. I got a new camera, I got some new lighting. As you see, I just blinded myself with it. I'm in a new setting. And on top of that, I got a new rig. I'm mind blown. This is the rig to end all rigs. I've been a Line 6 Helix supporter for quite some time now. I'm a massive fan of it. Always running direct in. I thought it was extremely important to be able to do that. You know, the best bet most of the time was for me to run DI. Playing bigger rooms, especially doing the cover band, tribute band thing. The Helix is a wonderful piece of gear and it could change your entire life. So what happens? You get done with the tour and as a working musician does, you have to go play the smaller rooms again. You have to go back to the bar. When like these beach clubs playing uh, some smaller venues and I'm plugging in the Helix to the PA system the same way I would at a big room and it does not sound the same. Quality's there and can you make it work? Yes, but remember that at these smaller places, you're at the mercy of the sound guy. I really didn't like that. It would become inconsistent. I would play good sized rooms and small bars with the same sound guy. And every single time that I played somewhere, it would be a little bit different. It's just the nature of the game. We don't have the same sound guy all the time. We need to take some responsibility. And how am I taking that responsibility? Right there, baby. Or should I say, pedal baby. <laughs> I needed something I could tour around with that would still allow me to get all the awesome sounds of my Helix, but just as an amplifier. Something that I could put maybe in the front of my bag, fly out, anything, I could do it. They have cabs at a lot of venues. I'm a massive fan of orange. For a while, actually, I was playing exclusively orange gear, and I love it. So I ended up picking up the Pedal Baby 100, which is a class A, B solid state power amp. I'm not gonna get into that right now. The reason that I'm making this video is because when I was researching this, all I could find were videos of guys using Boss Modeler or an Axe FX through the Pedal Baby. I couldn't find anyone who was using a Helix. <laughs> If you use a Helix and you're wondering, hey, my Helix sounds better than an Axe FX, I'm a Helix owner, okay? It's not the same. And you wanna hear what it sounds like, this is the ultimate test for anyone that is running a Helix and is concerned. One of the questions that I was really looking for, does it project well? Cause we've all been there. You show up to the gig with your new awesome modeling amp, your other guitar player 
has a Supro. He puts it up halfway and it fills the room with sound and your modeler doesn't get three feet past it. This does not have that problem. <laughs> This is an eight ohm head. So the cool thing is when it comes to the working musician life, if you're showing up to a venue that has speaker cabs already, most likely they're not gonna have a little four ohm cab. They're either going to have an eight or a 16 ohm cab at a lot of these places. You're still pushing 70 watts of clean power. <laughs> They market it as class A B. It's actually a class A bridged with class A B. This projects just as well as like a Fender Deluxe. It really has that awesome power. It has that warm feeling. It feels like it hugs you when you're playing in front of it. You stand in front of it and you just feel the goodness coming off of it. Of course, it has to do with your patches as well. This is like if you want to do any of that Matea Asado kind of stuff, you know? Uh, something else that I couldn't find is a lot of information on what cab to purchase with this. I love the sound of orange cabs. I really wanted the stand-up cab. I think that the open back cab is the best cab for this. When you're playing a clean setting, you want to mimic that fill the room kind of sound. And one of the ways that happens is by having an open back cab. <laughs> One of the things about the knobs you gotta know is that when the treble and the bass knob are at 12 o'clock, that's the middle. They're adding or subtracting bass and treble from it. And that's not for your tone, that's just to adjust to the room. said to me, well, dude, you're gonna buy this right before Nam? And I said, yeah, why not? You know, I wait so long to buy gear anyway. What could possibly come out? And then they come out with the terror stamp, which is awesome, but it's not the same thing. Even though it is class AB, which means it's gonna project very well, there's a preamp in it. That has an effects loop. I'm trying to not have to run a lot of wires to the front of the stage. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh my god, it sounds so crazy. With the pedal baby, all you have to do for your existing patches is just go to your go to the block that has your IR or your cab emulator and all you have to do is just bypass it. So all your existing patches are still useful. <laughs> You just bypass your impulse response. Now all your effects don't have to be ran through effects loop. You can have a floor unit and only run one cable to the front of the stage now. I was running sometimes, you know, four or five cables to the front of the stage, depending. You don't have to worry about an effects loop or a four cable method. Everything is done in the helix and you just plug into the front. I wouldn't recommend using this with just a distortion pedal in front of it. I don't think you're gonna get the most out of it. It's great because it really does just fit in the front of my Helix bag. Guys, that's it. I'm hoping this video turned out short enough, but I'm hoping that it got you all the information you possibly want. Comment, subscribe, put everything down below. I love talking to everybody in the comments. Let me know if anyone has compared the terror stamp to the pedal baby. I would love to hear what you think. Or if you've compared the Victory Duchess V4, if you've compared that to the pedal baby or the terror stamp. Guys, my goal is a thousand subscribers by next month. Let's see if we can hit it. Thank you guys so much.